like to read a short quote from the New York Times City section, even though it doesn't exist anymore, um, that came out when it reviewed the book in, um, in 2006. Quote, in the 1930s and 40s, a little known photographer named Rebecca Lepkoff scoured the Lower East Side. She was raised in the teeming immigrant district, but she managed to cast a fresh eye on her familiar streets. Indeed, they became her muse. Lepkoff's photographs captured the ever-changing community in a way that paralleled the change in her life. She was both sensitive to her subjects and at the same time tenacious. That she was a woman photographer made her both able to appear innocuous, but also perhaps more vulnerable. She was fearless in order to get the shot she wanted, and confrontations were not infrequent. The babble of Russian, Yiddish, Spanish, and Italian filled the streets where Lepkoff trained her lens. Her lens. Peddlers proliferated, children played on the stoops, a root beer cost five cents. As a teenager growing up during the Great Depression, Depression she struggled to make a life for herself. At first, the photographer found her passion and her salvation in dance. But when she was hired to dance at the 1939 World's Fair, she used her earnings to buy a camera on a whim. The camera became her new passion. Her artistic vision transformed from the choreography of the body to the choreography of the streets around her. Rebecca described quite simply her choice of subjects. People asked me, how did you know what to take? I didn't even have to think, she said. I just went outside and there were the streets of my mother, of me, of whatnot. Very alive, full of activity with people. So Rebecca's gonna come up and say a few words about some of her photographs and then we will celebrate. want to say a few words about um, about whatever comes to mind, whatever you feel like talking about in terms of this photograph or other. 